How's it going guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be discussing a vehicle that I had in the workshop recently which was a VE Commodore with fault codes P0171 and P0174. Dim fault codes are related to the system to lean in bank 1 and bank 2, bank 2 being P0174 and in this video I'm going to be showing you the part that caused them, them fault codes to be triggered and how I fixed that problem. Also at the end of the video I'm going to be showing you that part completely disassembled and what item actually failed internally in that component. Okay, so first thing first with this one, the customer complained that the light was coming on when left idling for long periods of time. It was driving absolutely fine, he wasn't feeling any hesitation or issues performance wise, everything else seemed fine, but when it was idling the engine light would come on. I confirmed that the customer was uh, correct in that the vehicle was driving absolutely fine, everything seemed okay, but then when it was idling for long periods the fall code the fault codes would come on. So i done my diagnostic examination of it, I checked the live data, but where I'm going to jump in on this video is the actual fix to it and uh, later at the very end of the video I'm going to be showing you the component stripped down and what actually failed in that part. So a little breeze through on what can cause uh, a fault code like that to show up. It can be an introduction of too much air, it can also be not enough fuel being present. So in this particular vehicle it was an introduction of too much air that was coming which was causing the fault codes to come on. It was the EVAP purge solenoid was called the issues. Now how I found out that it was definitely that fault was I removed the part from the vehicle and I brought it over and I bench tested it. This is a very straightforward test that you can do to confirm that your part has failed on your vehicle should you have the same system. So I bring the removed EVAP per solenoid over to the bench and I start to do some very simple basic tests which will confirm if this item has failed or not. The first thing you're going to need is some battery voltage. The other item you need is a vacuum gauge. So I use my electrical connectors here to put it onto the two pins. I use my um, battery booster that I have, that way I can flick the switch on and off easily to apply voltage on and off. The vacuum gauge goes on to the end which connects into the manifold and that is where it should be holding vacuum when you apply. As you can see here when I go to pump the gauge it isn't even lifting the needle off the seat. No vacuum is being built up when in this unit and it has completely failed. You can click um, the switch on and off, you can send voltage and you can hear that solenoid trying to do something but it hasn't the capabilities of creating a seal to hold the vacuum or even start to hold the vacuum in this. So this unit has failed. I then go and I set about ordering the new part. The new part arrives and I'm going to show you here side by side what test you should expect to see what results when testing this item. Um, I put the vacuum back on, now bear in mind that the pipe I'm using isn't a 100% seal so I don't expect it to hold the vacuum completely steady but I just wanted to show you with the vacuum increasing. As you can see there the needle is lifting up like it should and then when I flick the switch it releases, it opens and that pressure drops off to zero again. So that is a 100% definitive result and we know that this purge solenoid needed to be replaced. I then go and set about putting it back into the vehicle, again a simple task, just one 10 millimeter bolt holding it in. I reconnect the pipe and I also reconnect the electrical connection. Nectar. After I have that work done, I clear all the fault codes and I bring the vehicle for a road test. So I'm just on the final road test now. All the fault codes have been cleared and as you see it in that last clip, we tested the new part, we tested the old part. So we confirmed with 100% certainty that that purge solenoid had failed. Now the fault codes that was on this vehicle is P0171 and P0174. They were the fault codes related to the fuel trims showing up lean. 
those would be caused by that solenoid remaining open and a constant flow coming through it. And with that said, I'm very happy to give the vehicle back to the customer now after fitting that part. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. So just to give you a little bit better of an understanding, I decided I would open up this purge solenoid and show you how it actually works and what component failed in it so that it couldn't create a vacuum when we were doing the test earlier on. So I'm just going to set this test up for you now and I'm also going to show you the disassembled setup of how this functions. So just like the test earlier, I have my two connectors hooked up here. One is running to negative and I have the other uh, ready to go for positive. So if you look here, you've got this rubber seal, you've got the spring, and then you've got, it sits down around this cylindrical part right there. So when we create a good enough seal Rock it into position. I and then if I apply power, which I am up the top side here, I'll just leave that there for a second. So if you look up here. I've applied the power on so this is turned on and watch what happens when I let go it releases it and to show you in a little bit less extreme I'll take the spring out so there's not as much pressure on it I'll just rock that back in position again Okay, then I apply power, let go, see, and it pops up. Now to give you a bit better of an understanding of this, I'll disconnect those now. So you know already, so the spring sits in there, like that. That goes down in there and you have these rubber pieces all the way around and around there and if you look there this one was damaged and also right there that part was damaged as well and a seal along that side in like that this sits back in there and this part would be on that side so you would be applying so you would be applying vacuum to this side here and that would be sealing on the inner part there So you need this little part to seal right against that. Okay, so that is the disassembled look at the purge solenoid. That is the functionality of it. Um, when you have the power applied, it releases, it opens. Um, to allow the air to come through it which holds it against that then when you um, disconnect the power afterwards that top section moves up out of the seat down the bottom and it closes it again we know that that wasn't happening 
the power was coming in here but it wasn't capable of sealing on this front side so you wouldn't be able to get vacuum uh, i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching